sharing truth, God's truth from Dr. Don Wilson. Today we hear encouraging words about the I was at a very low point in my life, and I've learned some um, phrases from Dr. Wilton, reading his book, uh, Hope and a Prayer. And it summarized what I was in. I was in a spiritual energy low. Matter of fact, as he put it, my tank was empty. So I flipped on the TV one Sunday morning. I had been in bed for months, just feeling sorry for myself. I suffer with depression. My children got where they didn't even like to come around me. Reading the encouraging word is my way to start my day off on the right foot. And it keeps me focused and it keeps me at peace. I am more content with my life. Uh, my anger issues, they're all but gone. Um, I'm learning to pray. Uh, I actually didn't know how to pray. Uh, in reading the encouraging word, I found out that when I pray, that's when it's time for me to talk to Jesus. And when I meditate, and I have gotten in my closet, that's when he talks to me. And it has just moved me in a way that my children say things to me like, Mom, it's like you've gotten a second wind or a new leaf on life. What's going on? So my son that's gonna be 29, I call him, he wants me to call him. He has a problem with, with um, comprehending things and always has, but he says, Mom, will you please call me every morning and read that to me and then explain it. And I do that and I love it. And my other two children, they're reading it, even though they're, they're, they have churches and my daughter, she's very big in the church and um, she's the director over all the Sunday schools. Um, over near the cliffs at Glassy and everything, but they are loving this book also. And my church, it puts out a little devotional called Our Daily Bread, which is good, but the encouraging word is my book. That is my salvation, so to speak. I just don't think if I don't get my next copy, I'll be able to stand it. I'll just go back and start reading them over again is what I'll do, because I have to have that. It's like, a cup of coffee to me. It's just got to be read and, and it just has helped me so much. And I ordered um, Dr. Wilton's uh, CD, Breaking the Handcuffs. I haven't broken those handcuffs yet, but I'm getting there. And I've got a long way to go, a long way to go to get where I need to be. But encouraging word has helped me believe in Jesus more, trust him more. I have more faith now than I had. I have a, a reason to live. Thousands of people hear the word of God proclaimed with power and conviction. The multiplication of television has magnified the reach of one pulpit in one church to a phenomenal number of homes. On a typical Sunday, it would require a sanctuary 91 times the size of our building to hold those watching in just one broadcast hour of ministry. The encouraging word goes to work to connect new believers with churches in their areas. This sets the encouraging word ministry apart from others who may do their best to stay connected with new believers by mail, but find it difficult to disciple them long distance. Today, the combined broadcast of the encouraging word are multiplying again through the Christian Television Network, CTN. On DirecTV and Dish Network, the broadcast on WSPA and other local affiliates, and a weekly radio show on WMIT, the radio station founded by Dr. Billy Graham, each give the encouraging word the opportunity to reach over 20 million people every week in all 50 states. Hi, we're Scott and Jenny, and we live and work in Northern Africa, and the encouraging word has become a great blessing to us as we don't have a a group to weekly meet with. Uh, we meet with a small group, but not a great, greater, uh, large number of people or a big building or anything to go to. So we've just become really encouraged by being able to connect with family and friends through the ministry there and, and watching uh, each week. And also just to get what we need message wise from from the pastor and, and feeling like we are part of the community here, even though we are far away. And it's just been a real blessing to us. 
my aunt Sophie is 95 years old and lives at Martha Frank's Retirement Center in Lawrence. She tuned into your program last Sunday, and while she was watching the service, she settled the issue of her salvation in Christ. We ended up praying with her right there in front of the TV, an answer to years of prayer. My wife and I are so grateful that you guys were there for this life-changing event. We're also thankful that your church sees the TV broadcast as important. And again, I just wanted to call and let you know that God's Word certainly doesn't return void. Thank you, guys. God bless you and the encouraging Word. Preacher Wilton, both my family and me watch your sermon every Sunday, and it has really changed our lives. In fact, I was saved during one of your preaching services on Easter Sunday. Pastor Wilton, it happened. I'm finally out of Corcoran Prison. Yeah, the same one that Charles Manson did time in. But I'm out now, and I just wanted you to know that I'm at home now taking care of my mother. And your videos, your daily Bible studies, they kept me alive. I've grown so much spiritually while I was in prison, thanks to the encouraging word. I'll never be the same. Never. 